Hi guys, Twitch here from Creep Designs. Um, I've got this pretty big sideboard that I'll be working on in this video. Um, she's a bit of a beast, so it'll probably take me a while and there'll probably be some struggles and some tears, so let's get going. Alright, so I'm going to start by sanding the top of this. Um, so I can see how this comes up and I'll decide then whether it's going to have a timber finish on the top or if I'm going to paint the whole lot. It'll depend on how damaged it is under the paint. If there's burn marks or anything like that, I'll be painting it. Um, so I'm using my Rockwell sander from Super Cheap Auto and 80 grit sandpaper and I've got this hooked up to the Audi shop vac. So this is going to be quite a bit of work to get this back. Um, you can see, or well, you should be able to see there, how thick this is. Um, I might even use some oven cleaner just to remove some of this and then I'll clean it and let it dry and then sand it just so it's a bit thinner and so I don't go through quite so much sandpaper. But this top is coming up really nice. Um, I'm actually really happy with this, so I'm probably going to end up doing a timber top on it because it would be a shame to cover this up. So I'll get this, the top of this sanded back and then I'll move on to the body. So I've got it um, sanded all over, including the mirror, which is over on my workbench. Um, I've gone around, mostly around the edges, where I'll probably end up distressing it. Um, but I've also given it a really good scuff sand where all the glossy surface was. Um, and I've washed it with sugar soap and hot water, and then cleaned it with clean it again with clean water and a rag um, what else did I do I put the cleaned the hinges and everything in tomato sauce I've put the hinges back on as well as the latch that's inside this part here and the lock so that I can get all of these to stay get the doors to stay shut whilst I'm painting it um, I see that the edges, the sides of the drawers, to get them to fit in better. Um, I think that's it. Um, so now I'm going to start priming, and I'm using Carts and Millie Boutique Primer and Adhesive Bond.
so this surface is primed and I'm about to go in with Katsumili Boutique Furniture Paint in the colour Charlie Latte and I've got it in my yogurt cup and I'm using my sleek 38mm I can't see a lot of what's going on there. Yeah, I'll move you. Seems I wasn't recording when I put on the Anuka pool. I am terribly sorry. Um, I'm an idiot. It's early Saturday morning, so that's my excuse. Um, so I've gone in with that. Um, I'm gonna let that dry, and then I'll come back in with the three ducks. All right, so. I got my husband to help me move this up onto my workbench because getting around on that little creeper stool I nearly, you know, ended up on the floor several times and it hurts my back. So we're up higher and I can move around easier and it should go a lot better. Um, so in the meantime I've gone over the Anuka pool again to give that a more solid base. And I've gone over the black now that I could see underneath probably to get down there better. So I'm going blind. Um, now I'm going to do the base for the three ducks. Yep, three ducks. This one. I don't know if you can see it. Lighting's kind of bad today because of how overcast it is, but we'll go with it, right? can't see a damn thing. Alright, so this is where we're at. I've got 
black bear, anuka pool, three ducks, and then Charlie Latte. And now that the three ducks is dried, you can actually see it better as opposed to before whilst I was trying to show me applying it. So that's just the base coat to make sure that no white shows through. And now I'll set up and we'll get going with the blending. All right, I'm gonna start blending. I'm hoping you can hear me properly because it's started raining at some point. Um, so for blending, I've got my water. Um, unlike chalk paint, water won't reactivate the paint. It'll just allow me a bit more time to work with it. So I've got my water. I'm gonna go between, start by going between the black bear and the anuka pool. So I've got black bear and anuka pool. I need to put more in those. Alright, so I've got all my cups of paint. And I've got all my brushes. I've got four sleek brushes here, and then I've also got a chippy brush for if I need to move it around a bit without um, adding more paint. So. We'll see how this goes, eh? So we'll start by adding a bit of the black back in down here. Just to get it moist again. Luckily it's a cold and balmy and wet miserable day, so paint shouldn't dry too fast. Some of the nuka back in there. And then I'm going to take my misting bottle and spray it from a distance. Not too much. And then I'm going to start blending. brush just to kind of feather it around a bit So now we'll be going between the Anuka and and three ducks. So I'm going to put some of that there. That will also help soften that edge there. So we'll go there and kind of feather that.
So Anuka and three ducks. Add that paint back in. And I'll use that same Anuka uh, Three Ducks brush to kind of blend it between those two. Baby. All right, so that's what we've got so far. Um, that kind of smokiness, how it looks like it's kind of rolling down like that, is exactly what I wanted. I don't want pristine and perfect. I want it to have character. Um, there's a couple of spots that I will touch up at some point when I come back around this end like that spot there but if you keep working and keep working and keep working it without letting it dry you paint piles up and you get too much paint on the surface and then it kind of just keeps sliding around and you're going to end up with mud
now that this is all painted and I've painted it with the hinges on it, I've unlocked the door and I'm opening it out a few times just to get those hinges moving. Before I open the door, sorry, I used a craft scalpel or a craft knife to very carefully cut around the door where any paint has gone through. And I've also carefully gone around the edges of the hinge to make sure that if any paint does break where they join up with the door, that it's not going to peel off. Um, so paint seems to be staying on there all right. There's a couple of little spots where it's coming off tiny a little bit, but you know, it is what it is. Now that I've got the doors open, I'm now going to use some sandpaper. I think this is 240 grit. And I'm just going to go around the insides where the paint would have gotten underneath and built up. I'm working on the inside of the cabinet now and to kind of refresh the timber on the inside. It's all been cleaned and I've given it a dust off from all the sanding I've done. Um, and to freshen it up I'm using Cartamilla Boutique Hemp Salve. Uh, and I'm using, I'm not sure what kind of brush it is, maybe Gava, I think. It's just a wax brush. Um, so I'm just putting it in like this, swelling it around. It's a bit hard today because it's, you know, wet and miserable. I love this weather. I thrive off of it. But it's not exactly the best weather for waxing. I know most of you all know what I mean. So, I hold it like this. I usually, by the end of it, I'm usually holding it like this and like getting right in there because my hand's getting sore. Um, so yeah, put some of this on and see if you can see the difference on camera. I'll just rub it in like this. Basically like what you'd be doing if it was a rag, but this just seems to get better coverage for some reason. Using a cloth doesn't seem to spread it as much. So you'll get more out of your wax doing it this way. Can you see the difference? Uh, get the light to hit it. I probably did too much. I'll show you here. <laughs> there you go. You can see where the wax is there. So I'll get cracking on this and then we'll move on to the mirror. Alright, so I did refinish, I did finish the top of this using milk chocolate and then, what was it, Cross Jetty. Because um, I was kind of going for a softer, lighter look, uh, but I have since changed my mind and I'm not happy with it. And I've done some testing. And... I think I've made my mind up, so I'm going to sand this back, probably not all the way back, and I'll start again and see what I come up with, but you know, got to be happy with it, right? All right so I was planning on using these, ignore the band-aid, I got attacked by a hot water bottle. Um, I was planning on using these, and 
there'll be a separate video showing how I refinished these. Um, I did this to match. It's come up very pretty. That's the original escutcheon. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I also did the key. Probably can't see it very well. Um, but I can't use these ones because uh, the, screw, the screws aren't long enough and I if I tried to countersink from the inside of the drawer um, I'd be coming too close to the front surface of the drawer. So instead I got these bad boys and they've come up really pretty. She's a beauty. I'm not going to be to everyone's taste, but you know what? I don't like everyone's taste either. Well, I am really happy with that. Some people might say, why didn't you put something in those panels? They're empty. They need something. Right? Sometimes you need to just know when to stop. Let that down there be the focal point. That and the beautiful hardware. Right? You don't always have to have something going on everywhere. Look at that. all that mess I got cleaning to do so I'll get this staged and take some photos and we'll go from there if you like this video please like and subscribe and comment and tell me what you think um, you can also follow me over on Facebook and if you're interested in purchasing any of the products used in this video you can find the link in the description thank you so much guys